My childhood was, I don't want to say typical, but I think typical to those growing up in black communities. Dad was pretty much inconsistent. I saw him maybe every few years. He would just pop in, be in my life for six months, and then pop back out and just show up whenever he felt like it. My mother worked every weekend, so I would spend Sundays with my aunt, who was a Christian. Um, and so she would take me to church with her like every single Sunday, which was incredibly boring, but I enjoyed the popcorn that the kids got and the Skittles. Childhood was a mixture of abandonment, but not knowing that's what that was, mixed with glimpses of God through my aunt, mixed with seeing my mother work hard. I think middle school and high school was me chasing after love from people. I wanted people to tell me that I'm something, that I'm significant, that I'm somebody. And women, I think, uh, became one of the main sources of that for me. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I had these feelings that seemed very natural, these thoughts that seemed super normal to me, but I knew it wasn't normal to culture. I grew up in black church. That's like a no-no, <laughs> is to be gay. And so it was projected all the time that this is not okay. But I had read the scriptures pertaining to it being a sin. And so I just believed it. I didn't try to talk myself out of it. Because to me, I felt like what I read in the scriptures was correlating with the conviction I felt. This feeling correlates with what this is saying. <laughs> it's like, it's not an isolated situation. But I still didn't know how to come to terms with, this is how I feel, so I'm gonna do it. The things I knew about scripture, it seemed like they just would not get out of my head. It was just like, God is everywhere, and it was just getting on my nerves. I don't want to be a Christian. I don't want to be saved. Because what I thought Christianity to be was people that just didn't do stuff. You don't listen to secular music, you wear long dresses, you go to church all the time, and you don't curse. If that's what Christianity is, I'm cool on that. I already didn't have peace, but the reminder of the truth was increasing my awareness of my lack of peace. And so I called uh, one of my cousins who was a believer, and she was like, you know what? I believe that God is going to show you how much you need him. I'm like, okay, whatever. I think over the course of some months, that's when I got arrested. My dad ended up passing away from a motorcycle accident, which really broke me because it was kind of like this realization that we'll never talk. From there, me and my mother's relationship was just like, we were not close, we were not cool. It was like everything I was doing, my entire life became uncomfortable. It became isolated, it became just lonely. When I was 19 and feeling God speak to my heart and tell me what you're doing will be the death of you. Like this is not an idea anymore that sin will kill me. It's not an idea anymore that God is not pleased with this. Like this is reality and I have to deal with it today. When I reckoned with that, I knew that I could not save myself. I knew I could not walk away from these things because I enjoyed them way too much. And so I knew from Bible study at church when I was five, you die for people like me. You said you'll forgive people like me. And so I'll just believe that. I was in a church in two weeks wearing girl clothes in a week. That was strange. I wasn't used to wearing regular bras and I had to understand how to sit like a woman again because I was used to sitting like a guy. Just relearning womanness. He did what he had to do to grab me, because I would not have chose God apart from God choosing me. <laughs>